It seems like lately there's been a trend amongst video game enthusiasts on YouTube to complete challenge runs of Super Mario games. These challenges involve rules such as making it through an entire game while only crouching, or trying to beat the game with the lowest score possible, and most notably, the coinless run. After doing some searching, I've found little to no coinless runs of Donkey Kong Country, and seeing as it's one of my favorite games of all time, I've decided to take it upon myself to plan out and execute a perfect coinless run of the original Donkey Kong Country. If I've learned one thing in my life, it's that anything Mario can do, Donkey Kong can do better. Let's get... Alright, so you ready? Let's do this. Before we begin, I'd like to go over some rules for this run, as well as some potential challenges and roadblocks that I'll be facing along the way. First and foremost, I will not be collecting any coins. That's it, that's all the rules. All the other things are allowed. If I can make it to King K. Rule and defeat him without a single coin in my pocket, I'll consider this run a success. So with that all out of the way, let's get going. The first level in this run is Jungle Hijinks, which is one of the most famous levels in video game history. In case you want to know this game's story, you can go to the left at the beginning, though I will warn you it's definitely not for the faint of heart. Without a single word, we know what this game is about. We see an air of unbearable sadness consume our protagonist's face as we look in horror at his banana hoard, which is empty. Yikes. Donkey Kong's pride and joy, his collection of bananas, and his only source of food, the only thing keeping him going, has been stolen from him. Oh no. It's personal now. With this terrible fact in mind, we'll definitely be trying to grab as many of those yum yum bananas as possible. Heading to the right, we'll find our first DK barrel which contains Donkey Kong's nephew, Dinky. He is much faster and more agile than his uncle so we're going to be playing as him for the majority of the run. Luckily, there's not a single coin in the first level so we're free to breeze through the rest of it easily. Hi Rambi, thanks for the ride. Don't get too comfortable though, because Ropey Rampage is our first major hurdle in the run. Immediately our Kongs are assaulted by this ruthless armadillo who corners them. He's an incredibly formidable foe, and it took me way too long to figure out how to get by him. The f how do you get- how do you get by him?! He's gonna bite me! Eventually, I did learn the little rascal's tricks and was able to defeat him. Luckily, there are not any coins in this level. The reason it's difficult is mostly because the rain makes it very hard to see. After visiting Cranky, who is very rude to Donkey Kong and doesn't seem interested in our run at all, we make our way to the third stage, Reptile Rumble. This level is pretty easy to do coinless, mostly because it just so happens that there aren't any coins in the level at all. The hardest part is definitely getting these bananas from the... the bees. I, they clearly do not want to share with our Kongs, but Dainty is quick enough to steal the bananas right from underneath their stingers. This part in particular was always very hard for me because I am deathly afraid of bees and would not hesitate to wipe every single one of them from the planet Earth if given the chance. Anyway, now we can move on to level 4. Level 4, Coral Capers, is our first underwater level. Thankfully, being able to swim around freely makes water levels very easy to avoid coins in. Oops, watch out for the piranhas. Here's a secret you may have missed. If you look closely, you can see an arrow pointing down made out of delicious yellow bananas. Let's collect them and see what's down there. I hope it's not a coin. Well, this is certainly a nice surprise. It's our friend on guard, the swordfish. Luckily, on guard is allowed in this coinless run. Otherwise, we may find ourselves in some hot water. Later on in the level, we see another terrifying obstacle. If you thought the baby piranhas were bad, you better watch out for their dads. The daddy piranhas mean business and won't hesitate to take a bite out of DK if he isn't careful. Ouch, watch out, donkey. Despite how hard this level was, we got lucky and there weren't any coins in it. Level 5 is Barrel Canyon Can- Level 5 is Barrel Cannon Canyon. I'm very scared of this level because I'm worried that one of the sneaky developers may have put a coin right at the exit of one of the barrel cannons. If the developers put any coins in the paths of the barrels, it's game over. If you go to the left at the start, there's a secret barrel that will shoot you over most of the stage, which is really cool. It's a good thing this isn't a no banana run, huh? Haha. <laughs> Rare decided to be kind and not put any coins in our path. As long as you can get the timing down in this level, it's a piece of banana cake. Now it is time for the first boss fight, very naughty. And holy naughty this fight. There might not be coins in this battle, but figuring out how to damage this guy takes ages. The first thing I tried doing was jumping on him because it's how you defeat regular naughties, but all he did was laugh at me, so I figured that wasn't doing damage. <laughs> After that I tried rolling, but I couldn't tell if I was hurting him or not. Eventually, probably from jumping around so much, I think he had an asthma attack and faint. <laughs> That's world one completed, completely coinless, hooray! Level seven is Winky's Walkway. This level might seem scary at first because it's really dark, but in terms of our coinless run, it's not scary at all because there's actually no coins in the whole level. Our tie-wearing monkey finds a frog here who I assume is Winky. I decide to leave him before exiting the level though because this is his walkway and I don't want to remove him from it. Level eight is called Minecart Carnage, and with a name like that, I was genuinely terrified to enter this level. Would this be the end of our run? After all we've been through, would Donkey and Diddy finally have to collect a coin here? No, they won't. This first jump is very, very tricky and I missed it, but as it turns out, it was a good thing to miss it because there's a secret down here that lets you skip the whole level. It's not a very good secret because I feel like most players will miss the tricky jump anyway and fall into it by accident like I did, but still, we managed to make it through this level coinless hooray. 
Level 9 is called Bouncy Bonanza, and uh-oh, this one's a doozy. While there luckily aren't any coins in this level, which is a welcome break, it's got some very tricky platforming challenges and a lot of these leaping lizards to watch out for. Otherwise, it's a pretty basic level with some neat puzzles. I hope that you have fun with it. The next level is Stop and Go Station, and hold on to your pants because it's the scariest level yet. Right at the start, there are these horrible boys who run very quickly back and forth to try and grab our monkeys. If you jump up and touch the go barrel, it makes them stop, which I don't quite understand. I decided to try running away because this level was too scary, and I ended up finding another secret. You can skip almost all the way to the end of the level if you just go through the entrance door at the start. One of the horrible boys did manage to smack DK, but Diddy made it out alive and coinless too. The next level is Milestone Mayhem. This level pulls another dirty trick and puts an invincible enemy right in your path at the start. I tried to avoid him, but I had no luck. Thankfully, I figured out that you can jump over him, but it's very hard. His brother follows close behind him, so watch out. For a brief moment, I was sure our run was over because I saw what I thought was a giant coin blocking our path. Thankfully, it was just a hamster and we were able to escape with our lives. There weren't any coins in this level, so it's a nice plain platforming challenge with no bells and whistles. Level 12 is a boss battle against Neki's Nuts. Neki's Nuts is a very difficult boss because the big bird Neki's Nuts will spit his Neki's Nuts at you, which are very hard to dodge. The secret is that you have to jump on top of his head using this bouncy ball here. If you smash Neki's Nuts head a bunch of times, he dies and you can head on to world 3. That's two whole worlds down without a single coin. Next up is level 13, and you know what they say about 13, bad luck. Vulture Culture is our first level in World 3, and you'd think that it would be the toughest one yet, but it's actually surprisingly simple. There aren't even any coins, which certainly doesn't seem unlucky for us in our run. Just jump on all of the baby Neki's nutses, and you shouldn't have any problem beating this level coinless. Treetop Town is level 14, and we've got another potentially run-ending level. There are a lot of barrels here, and as we've learned by this point, barrels are the scariest part of a coinless Donkey Kong Country run except for the bees, which are always scarier. Any one of these barrels could end our challenge and send us home, and because you can't see very far ahead of you in Donkey Kong Country, the suspense of waiting to see what's beyond the next barrel almost killed me every time. All it would take was one shiny yet deadly coin placement and it would all be over. Perhaps just to troll me specifically, they didn't even put a single coin in the level, so all my worrying was for nothing. Level 15 is called Forest Frenzy, and it's all about ropes, even though there was already a rope level in World 1 called Ropey Rampage. There's a trick early on where the developers put a sparkly little letter down in this pit. The leaping lizards keep trying to grab it, but uh-oh, they can't reach. While I do think it's lame to put a collectible out of reach like this, it was nice of Rare to use the enemies to hint at the fact that it's impossible to collect. The rest of the level is straightforward, and because there luckily aren't any coins in the whole level, you won't have any issues in that regard. There is this one bullshit thing though where the terrible, awful, horrible, scary bees can apparently kill you from below because for some reason they have spikes on their back. I don't know if Rare ever saw a bee, but they don't have spikes on their back like that. Denny, pull up a picture of a bee. Take it down. No, take it down. Take it Take it down. Temple Tempest is level 16, and this level marks the return of our friend the hamster. But this time, he's not so friendly. This time, the hamster shows no hesitation and tries to run our Kongs down with his wheel. You're pretty much constantly fleeing in this level, and I was so scared of the hamster steamrolling me that I didn't even watch out for coins. I didn't see any, and I also thankfully didn't collect any, so somehow we managed to make it through this stage coinless as well. Hooray. Orangutan gang is le level 17 and it is the hardest level in the game there are little chompers in this level which can be tough to avoid but if you make it through them you can find espresso the ostrich who will let you hitch a ride thanks espresso thankfully espresso doesn't charge for his services because we're running a little light on coins at the moment haha <laughs> because of espresso's stylish sneakers the chompers can't even hurt us when riding him unfortunately espresso is a little too fast for me and was way too hard to control so i regrettably had to move on without him the first real problem comes from these barrel monkeys dodging their barrels is hard enough without having to worry about coins so the extra element of fear added by this run makes it agonizing to avoid them. The second major problem is this guy right here. <coughs> this is our first of many jump scares in the game. Unfortunately, we've already made it this far and I'm determined to finish this run, so we press onwards and manage to finish the level. Despite how hard it was, there actually were no coins in the entire thing, which made it a little less painful, but not by much. Level 18 is our second water level, and it is called Clam City. Despite the name, there are actually more piranhas here than there are clams, and there isn't even a city, so great job with the name here, guys. I had a lot of problems avoiding some enemies here, but it was all worth it in the end. In the second half of the level, if you've got a keen eye and a bit of luck, you'll spot this rare frog token. It's guarded by one of the clams, and if you manage to avoid him, you can grab yourself one of these rare items. And before you say anything, I did check with the DKC speedrunning community, and frog tokens do not count as coins. There aren't any normal coins in the level to avoid, so this level was easy. Level 19 is another boss being Bumble Bu Rumble. I've never gotten this far before, but we can't stop now. Our quest to complete DKC coinless can- No, 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 I'm not doing a B-level.
I'm not doing it! I'm not doing- Unfortunately, despite our best efforts, it appears that the original Donkey Kong Country is not beatable coinless. Donkey and Diddy braved every single challenge that came their way. They made it through the perilous rope-swinging storm, they navigated vast underwater caverns, and they jumped over the evil monkey barrels in Orangutan Gang. They marched forward no matter how hard things got, and they refused to collect a single coin along the way. But painfully, we were not able to see the rest of the coinless run. It's simply impossible to get past World 3. There was a coin during the World 3 boss that was unavoidable, and what really sucks is that I lost the footage of it. It's impossible to beat Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo coinless. I'm sorry.